I will be demonstrating the endoscopic carpal tunnel release kit to you. Endoscopic carpal tunnel release is an advanced procedure over the conventional open carpal tunnel release. In a conventional open carpal tunnel release, we make an incision like this and you must be knowing that this is the area of the carpal tunnel and we are making the incision directly over it, releasing the carpal tunnel and seeing the median nerve just beneath it. So this is the open conventional technique. The problem with this technique is the incision is little big. The incision is vertical. There are some wound healing issues and occasionally you can have a painful scar because the incision is perpendicular to the Langer's line. Now con contrary to that, in an endoscopic carpal tunnel release, we make an incision on the Langer's line. It's a transverse incision. We expose the median nerve just beneath the antibrachial fascia and we release it in vision. So it is what is called as an endoscopic carpal tunnel release and it is a significant advancement over the conventional open procedure. Now I'll be demonstrating the kit which we use for the endoscopic carpal tunnel. So if you see this is the kit that we use for the endoscopic carpal tunnel release. And when you open it, you will see this kind of instruments. And the first thing as I told you is to make a transverse incision here, expose the antibrachial fascia, cut the fascia and expose and see the median nerve. Over that, the system comes with two dilators. So this is a five millimeter dilator that is inserted like this into the carpal tunnel. The second dilator is a seven millimeter dilator which is again inserted over that. So we make some space underneath the carpal tunnel or the transverse carpal ligament. And then after we insert the 7 mm cannula, we insert this trocar and cannula into the carpal tunnel. And then we take off this inserter. Now, when we do this, the nerve, median nerve will be beneath this sheet and the transverse carpal ligament or the roof of the carpal tunnel will be seen over that and we can actually insert the scope from here. Once we are in with the scope, we can use this knife which is absolutely the size of the transverse carpal ligament like this to release the fascia and the transverse carpal ligament under vision. So everything we do here is under vision, keeping the median nerve under protection and with a small transverse incision of one to one and a half centimeters. So it makes a very safe technique, accurate technique and a low uh, damage technique for treatment of uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Thank you.